what's going on everybody captain mike here with rural ports first day on the boat we're doing the sea trial today it took us a year to get here i appreciate all you guys for hanging in there right now we're going through all over inlet we're doing the sea trial we're testing all the plumbing we're looking at the numbers we're looking at you know our prop that we got on there efficiency torque top end out of the hole all that stuff taking you guys with us here hope you enjoy this sea trial let's go All right, hey everybody, welcome back to my Dream Boat Build series, and we are finally on the water. It took pretty much exactly one year from the point that we went into the mold till right where we're at right now. Everybody along the way was super awesome, from Shane and Duper and all the staff at Latitude Boats, Corey at Kraken Marine on the electric, and then the guys at Preferred Marine just exceeded my expectations like you have no idea because doing the plumbing on the boat, installing the motor, all that stuff is so important. You wanna make sure that when water comes in, it's going out the right way. And we have a completely dry bilge back here. Um, I just cannot say enough good things about Preferred Marine. I left the shop there a couple days ago. Uh, Kirk went to the 14th Street boat ramp with me at Pompano Beach. He showed me basically what they did, how the drains work, how the inflows work. Unfortunately, I filmed a lot of that stuff, but I actually lost the GoPro that day. So if you guys happen to find a GoPro in Pompano Beach, keep the GoPro, but send me the card. That'll be your finder's fee. Um, but that was pretty unfortunate. But I got a little bit of footage here that you guys can see us leaving the shop. Um, Davin, Cody on the rod holders, just everybody, family owned business. Now I haven't gotten my invoice yet, so I don't know exactly how much I owe um but when i do i'm going to give you guys an update as to what we have into this boat it's somewhere around a cool 100 g's um, i tried to build this boat for under 100 grand don't know where we're exactly where we're at but we're pretty close and i think that's awesome to be in a boat like this for 100 grand or less because you really can't get anything of good quality without spending you know 150 180 200 and the working man out there the fishing guides commercial guys even the recreational guys, this is gonna be you know, a pretty good price point to get in of something of this quality. So today we're just sitting out here off Hallover Beach. We're gonna do a little bit of test. Um, first thing I wanna do is I wanna just make sure all the plumbing works, make sure there's no leaks. We're just uh, you know, looking at where the boat's sitting. I'm just going over the boat because eventually we're gonna have our 20 hour service to a preferred marine where we're gonna go back there, they're gonna do their 20 hour service and anything else that needs to be tweaked is gonna be done at that point. So for example, I still need to caulk the console door in there. I had, um, I had Kirk make me a piece of powder coated aluminum that's gonna go on the floor and that's gonna keep all the water out of the console. When you get a brand new boat guys, it's one of those things that you really gotta go over it with a fine tooth comb and make sure everything is exactly how you planned it so I'm expecting something to be up, but so far, so good. I actually took out the boat last night with Valerie and we went to keep his cane shrimping out there and everything ran great. 
I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better ride down there. We went to Miami, we filled up about half a five gallon bucket and uh, Valerie was pretty happy to not catch tarpon at night. She was happy to have something to eat. So we're gonna just check out the boat. I'm gonna show you a little bit around the, around the boat. In a future episode, I'm gonna give you guys a complete tour of everything we did. And as I said, we'll go over the pricing on that. So be sure to subscribe guys. I really appreciate you guys for coming along. 28 episodes with me for the past year. That's a long time. We haven't really been able to squeeze too many fishing videos in between there. So I wanna give you guys something. I wanna give you this Real Report shirt here. This is our hoodie. It's available on realreports.com. I also wanna give away a buff. All you gotta do is comment below. I wanna know which episode you found to be the most interesting what part of the boat build did you find to be you know most intriguing to you was it when we put the fuel tank in was it you know installing the rod holders installing the sim rad i'm curious to know how you guys enjoyed this build series and maybe just maybe one day i'll do one again you know i still got my eyes on a 29 cv down the road is that a potential you know boat build series or do we just focus on the fishing get you guys back catching more fish so comment below i'm going to pick two winners in our next video you're going to get this real port hoodie here I shopped for the coolest material that I could find so that you can wear it out here when it's hot like this and just completely cover your body. Not having a top out here, it's gonna make it real nice when I got myself covered like this. So comment below, I'll pick two winners here in the next video. Hoping for a sincere performance But open to finding the moment to finding out where I'm headed now Looking for a sign of disaster So I can make it there faster I'm weighing the consequences out